What's going on investors? My name's Emmanuel and I just want to really quickly put this company on your radar and give you the opportunity to do some research, you know, some light reading over the holiday periods. Also, Merry Christmas to everyone. This company is called Alpine 4 Technologies. The ticker symbol is ALPP and this company has the potential to be a 10x stock. Well, saying that, it already pretty much is because this company is already up over 1200% within just the last month, literally within the last month. It's incredible, but it's still only a $3 stock. And with all the major catalysts still left ahead of it, I do believe there's still a ton of runway left for us to capitalize on. I took a position in this company at $1.80 and members in my Discord swing trading channel were also made aware and a few of them also bought into this company. But the intention was initially just to swing trade this position meaning we were planning to hold this stock for maybe a week, two weeks, maybe a month. And that was due to a catalyst that was announced earlier this week. And the major catalyst was the delisting of DJI, which is one of the largest drone manufacturers and had most of the market share. I mean, it had between 70 to 80% of the commercial drone market, but it's recently been blacklisted. And American drone companies now have a chance to capitalize on this new void and Alpine 4 Technologies which is sort of a holding company, recently acquired Impossible Aerospace, a drone company in the US that supports law enforcement. So we in the Discord knew what the catalyst was, and that was our rationale for taking a swing trade position in this stock. However, we did not anticipate another huge catalyst that was announced just today by the CEO, Kent Wilson. And this was that they were stepping into the big leagues next year. They will be entering the NASDAQ crazy and this set up a frenzy in the discord channel i mean everyone that was invested was going crazy it was buzzing and it really was a nice christmas present i can't even lie so for this video i'll play you kent wilson's latest interview uh, of the announcement and their plans going into the nasdaq next year it's about a seven minute long interview and in this interview he does hint at more announcements that are within the works and these could also be massive potential catalysts for the stocks to continue on the upside and at the end of the interview i'll take you through the charts and provide you with some potential entry points if you do decide that you want to invest in this company but please be warned i must warn you this is technically still a penny stock meaning this is an incredibly risky company to invest in so please 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 i can't stress it enough only invest with money that you can afford to lose this company could quite easily fall flat on its face. I mean, it's up 1,200% in one month. Now, I'm not entirely sure that they will fall on its face. And I do believe they do have some strong fundamentals. But nevertheless, you have been warned. So right before we jump into the video, if you do want to join my Discord group to be up to date with what we're doing, the link is in the description below. Don't forget to destroy the like button. It lets me know that you enjoy this type of content. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date with all the stocks that I am buying, selling, and all the stocks that are on my watch list. So with all that said, here's the CEO of Alpine 4 Technologies. Joining me now is Kent Wilson, the CEO of Alpine 4 Technologies. And Kent, it's always good to have you back. How are you? I'm doing great. You know, COVID willing, uh, the family's doing very well. So uh, we feel pretty blessed. How are you doing, Steve? I'm doing very well also. And, and you've got some some big news out that uh, the company is making that that big step up uh, to the NASDAQ uh, in 2021. So first, just give me sort of the reasoning behind uh, moving the company to the NASDAQ. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been 6.5 years in the making. I mean, when uh, when the board and I voted in 2016 to go to the, the OTCQB, we felt that even though our stock price was there at the time, um, we were brand new to trading. We needed more time to develop our following, and um, we've done it. I mean, over the last year and a half, two years, we've really developed what I would consider a cult-like following of people that you know believe in the underdog. You know, we are the quintessential underdog. We bootstrapped this company. From the very beginning, we didn't start with massive amounts of money like some companies do. Uh, we did it through organic growth. And our share price is now starting to reflect the value of our business model of DSF. I mean, the acquisition of Impossible Aerospace really got the focus point attention that we needed to really sit down and have a substantive conversation about you know, being on a larger exchange. Uh, that being said, um, it's you know, the choice between the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. 
after engaging with AGP, our investment bank, um, and talking through, you know, subsequently with them what the merits are, we decided that we're going to jump to the NASDAQ and it's going to be in pretty short order. Um, when you, when, when you look at the foundation that we've laid, we think that we can accomplish this in, you know, late January, early February. Yeah. Uh, a couple of questions on that. First off, uh, how does a, a move up to a, an exchange like the NASDAQ um, create more shareholder value as well? Yeah, I mean, that's a really logical question. And so we really have to break it down into different components. From my standpoint, you know, DSF, Driver Stabilizer Facilitator, is something that we've been building over the years. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to the shareholder value through a longer route explanation. But if you look what we did in 2019 and 2020, um, we acquired two businesses in 2019, two so far in 2020. And I will add, we're not done yet. The year isn't over. Um, that uh, I think it's pretty remarkable being on the OTCQB where we're at. And if you want to equate shareholder value in our increase in our market cap today uh, and being on the OTCQB and all of its barriers that we have, think about what's going to happen when we're on the NASDAQ, when my cost of capital goes way down, my cost of equity goes way down, my ability to attract really, you know, uh, definitive and substantive um, type of companies for acquisitions goes through the roof. I mean, when you're on a big board, it just does a lot. So I, I can only see massive gains in shareholder value, stock price, a lot of other things that probably don't want to comment on too much as a CEO. Uh, but I do look at things with rose colored glasses, especially when it comes to Alpine 4. So, so just because you're you're making that move up to a bigger board, does that sort of change the um, the business model of the company, or is the business model so strong that allows you to do this? Yeah. So we're we are um, the business. How, how do I say this? The business model hasn't changed at all, and nor will it. Uh, DSF is something that I developed over many many years, brought to Alpine Four, and we're really executing the game plan. What it does is it puts DSF on steroids. Uh, the ability to attract new businesses. Um, it, we're, uh, let me put it this way. If, if you look at most stocks out there, let's just take the marijuana stocks right now because everybody loves those things, and, but they're static. There's one play, it's consistent, everybody wants in it. And over time, they're going to start to die down. Um, we are a company that is dynamic and growing and, and always changing. And people say necessity is the mother of all invention. I would say that the need of change and the access to change is the uh, mother of all innovation. And um, if you look at Alpine 4 and we keep on adding little pieces of the puzzle to it, we're a company that's dynamic, we're growing, we're leading edge, we are getting uh, uh, vendors and even competitors looking at how we're doing things. And it's going to lead up to a pretty fantastic 2021 especially if we're on the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. And I'm going to say NASDAQ. So it's not changing the business model. We are just going to throw some gasoline on it and see it grow even further. Yeah, and drive profitability, obviously, as well. Yeah, and so that's another point. So, you know, the company, people look at our financial statement and they oh, they've, they've lost some money. And we have lost it, but people don't understand it's a little bit by design. Instead of taking a company that's, uh, when we buy it, that's driving um, profit, and throwing it back into the equity side of things, we're flushing it through the PL and driving optimization. So we're using that cash to grow it. And QCA is a perfect example of that. When we bought the company, the company was doing $7 million a year. It's now doing close to 11 and a half. And we're only doing it with three more employees. How do we do that? Well, we had to take enormous amount of money and reinvest it into that company. And so that's what you're saying. We're just, we're not able to, it's been by design, but I will add this in 2021 with all the optimization that we've done, COVID willing, we should start to see profitability uh, throughout our subsidiaries. Uh, we're making great strides in that. And being on the New York Stock Exchange and having you know, reasonable cost of capital is gonna bring our interest rates down. It's gonna bring, if we want to pay off some debt with equity, it's gonna allow us to do that and bring down some of our debt servicing thing. And I will add this on our profitability side, Alpine 4 has been cash flow positive pretty much every quarter for the last two years. So that's, that's a good thing. 
Absolutely. Well, uh, be exciting to see what's going to happen in 2021. We look forward to sharing the story with everyone. Kent, great to see you again. Best of the season and uh, look forward to another great 2021. Thanks, Steve. We're excited about it. And uh, I hope that, you know, uh, we'll be able to share some good news with you coming again here shortly. All right. Look forward to it. There's Kent Wilson, the CEO of Alpine 4 Technologies. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that interview. Now let's take a look at the price action. And like I said, it's been on an absolute tear, okay? Up over 1,000% in just the last month alone. So personally, I wouldn't buy at these highs. So, it, And it technically still is a penny stock. Again, it means it's got incredible risk involved. And you could quite easily be down 50% in your money really, really quickly. And therefore, you need to allow for a pullback. And quite a significant pullback at that. Simply because, again, there's extreme volatility within penny stocks, okay? So depending on where we open next week, I would want to see a pullback of at least 15 to 20% before even dreaming of starting a position in this company. I also wouldn't go all in when we do see that pullback. I would invest about maybe 25% of your budget into the stock. And if the stock continues to pull back another 10 or 20%, which is highly likely, then that way you can add another 25% and dollar cost average your way in that way. Again, Benjamin Graham advises that, not, that you don't risk any more than 10% of your portfolio in speculative investments. However, this is a penny stock and I would probably risk no more than just 1% of your portfolio, okay? So that would be my plan going into this stock if I wasn't already invested. But with all that said, please make sure that you do your own due diligence, please, all right? Remember, I am not a financial advisor, so please view my content as purely educational and not investing advice. If you do want to learn about investing in stocks, there are some useful links in the description below, including some books that I highly recommend. Again, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to see more content from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.